Welcome to Das Geek. What we have here is the Steam controller, and I am just blown away by how much I'm falling in love with this. If you have snubbed your nose at this, much like I have in the past, because lots of people were out there saying this controller just wasn't ready for prime time yet, people were having some issues kind of getting used to this touchpad over here, which operates as your mouse, then this is the video for you because I'm going to show you how the community has been able to overcome that and the enhancements and software and firmware uh, that Steam has done to this has made this controller a true force to be reckoned with. Now, like most of you, probably you're playing with an Xbox controller or a PS3 or PS4 controller, and those work fantastic in Windows and in Linux, and right now I'm in Manjaro Linux, and they are kind of the go-to and the standard that's set. But I can tell you the first thing that impressed me about this controller was when I put it in my hands. It really feels like they spent a lot of time on the ergonomics and making sure that it just feels perfect in your hands. And this controller does just that. On this controller, you have an A, B, Y, and X button. You have a touchpad here. You have another touchpad here, which also can work like the middle mouse scroll button outside of Steam or within Steam scrolling through lists and things, which will show you some of those features, which is really neat. You have a home button here, which is of course the Steam icon, a start and select or whatever you want to customize it to because this controller is incredibly customizable. And in fact, what we're looking at right here is a community built key binding set for Shadows of Mordor in which this individual has customized the controls so that the gyro is able to help you with your aiming. So you've got acceleration, haptic feedback and gyro control within here so that when you're trying to aim, if you're using arrows or that type of thing, you can use this controller and kind of tilt it to help you finalize with that aim. Also within this controller, which I think is amazing, is you have half button presses and full button presses. For instance, in this particular customization, if you half press the button while your finger's on this controller, then you can go in accelerometer mode where you can move up and down with your controller, or gyro mode, where you can move up and down with your controller, if you don't have your hand on that button and you just push this halfway through, it's just going to aim your bow and arrow and you would have to use your normal uh, movement to get your target into sight. So there are so many customizable options with this. It's incredible. And because the community has done so much work with this, thankfully for you, you can just go and download them. And that's what I was showing you here. So when you go into Steam Big Picture Mode, and you don't have to use this in Steam Big Picture Mode, but we are here, and I click on Shadow of Mordor. Once you install this controller, you can go down here to Manage Game, Controller Configuration, and then I can click X. If you see down at the bottom, Browser Configs, and you can see there's a recommended Steam controller default here, but I can go to the community and I can download one of these here. And you can see they have votes on them, so you can see the popularity of them. And this particular one's been modified basic controller configuration to use the gyroscope, just as we talked about. And then I can apply configuration and then I can go into the game and play it. And it works very well for Shadows of Mordor. I'm going to show you a couple games, Shadows of Mordor and probably Rocket League. Now, I'm not very good at any of these games here, but I wanted to show you uh, the controller as I'm using it while we play these games. And then I want to talk about some of the features because understanding that these can be half pushed and understanding that you can control the gyroscope are going to make a big difference and you actually liking this game and being, or this controller and being able to use it to its fullest capabilities. So this is a fantastic game that I'd actually first played on consoles before it came to PC and of course to Linux, but this is definitely one that has a lot of replay value. So you can see I'm half clicking on the button here. Well, you can't really see it, but I'm just half clicking. That's a full click, that's a half click. And if I keep my finger on there while I half click, you can see as I move my controller, it starts moving my aim as well. And so it'll help me lock on to his head here and be able to get the perfect shot that I want to get. And that's probably one of the hardest things to do with a controller is to get that aim right. And with that uh, gyro capability, it really makes this controller that much more powerful. Now I'm going to show you some up close and personal battle in Shadow of Mordor, and then we'll go over to Rocket League. We don't want the video to be too, too long, 
So I'm just holding now on one of the paddles here to run. And that was an easy kill. So now we'll run over to another. And you can see, just like you would in your mouse, I can just move my thumb gently across. Wait. Hey, somebody coming up over there? I think someone's come to come to fight us. Oh, an archer's attacking. Oh, well, we'll take quick work of that. See, I'm using the other paddle as an attack. Stand up so you can die! I don't remember the, the complete button configurations to do the executions, but you can see right away I was able to get in the game, start killing enemies, whether it's arching or magical abilities. It's very simple to use. It's very sensitive to your movements and you can also of course go into the configurations and adjust all the sensitivity to fit your specific needs how fast you want the camera to turn when you're pushing it you can put acceleration on this so that it goes slightly faster with less pressure so you've got tons of customization options to make this work for you so let's get out of this game for a second and we're going to we're gonna go into some Rocket League because that's just another, Super Meat Boy is another game that I've played on this and I feel like I've played Super Meat Boy better on this controller than I even did on the Xbox controller, which I'm very used to. There was just something about the sensitivity to the buttons. They just seem to respond very fast to the inputs, uh, at least for my play style. So we'll do some Rocket League here and just show you again, some of the community profiles that you can download and some of the customization options here. So let's just go into training. And so if I wanted to change the customization mid game, I just push that middle button there and then I can go down here to controller configuration and I can browse configs again. I can go to the community and I could find somebody who's got a lot of votes and that probably will be a good option to play with because it seems like lots of people like that apply configuration of course i can go in here and change any of this to what i want myself if i don't like their customization but just kind of want to use it as a template there so now that we've done that i can return to game and i can play with the template and see what they've done here so this paddle does all my jumping for me and this is my gas on the right hand side jumping gas very convenient button placement there for rocket league two of the one items you're going to use the most and you could tell i'm not very good at rocket league there was a time i played this considerably but it's been a long time but fantastic game if you've not picked up rocket league you will love it great game for you to play and check out you can play online with lots of friends Everyone loves some Rocket League and this controller, this controller does amazing for Rocket League, which I know is gonna be music to a lot of your ears here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out of uh, big screen mode here and just show you some other things that you can do with this controller that I thought were just really, really cool. So we've exited big picture mode, but notice that I'm able to control my mouse now with the Steam controller. And if I go and click in my library here, for instance, which one was the click? There it was, it's the uh, left trigger. And then I come down here and I click on one of these games. Now I can scroll just like a middle mouse button here. And it's not just for Steam, by the way. I can go over here to Dolphin, my file manager within Manjaro, and we can execute right click there, or I can left click and actually open up my files here and start browsing. So you can see the benefits for somebody who may have some disabilities 
or individuals who are utilizing this as their primary controller, say for a Steam box or something along those lines, where you don't wanna to have to hook up a keyboard and have it hooked up all the time. This controller is extremely versatile. And I will tell you to keep yourself from getting frustrated with this here and getting used to it when you're in certain games, the key is to really make sure, number one, you're using some community profiles out there when you first start with this, before you start doing your own customization so you understand it. Make sure that you're actually reading what some of those do. For instance, I spent a lot of time frustrated that the Excel or the gyro wasn't working within Shadows of Mordor because I didn't read that they had set it up that you had to have your finger on the mouse pad first. So once that was on there, then I was able to actually uh, utilize the gyro to move my cursor uh, along with just slightly enough along with uh, my aiming. So I, overall, I think this is just a really great controller. I can't wait to see future iterations of what they did. One of the things I would love to see changed about this controller, uh, I would love them to keep everything the same except maybe put a little hole here and allow me to add a joystick for certain games because it just seems like uh, some games, it would be nice just to have that kind of joystick like you would have, say, on an Xbox controller where you've got those two joysticks. And maybe that's just because I'm so used to it. But as I play more and more with this, I fall in love with it. Let me know in the comments below if you've checked out the Steam controller or have you avoided it. And maybe now you're going to go check it out. I was able to get this for about 25 bucks used on eBay. So definitely check out your used options for this controller for other people who are not utilizing it and you can get it for a great value. And I think if you're willing to spend some time getting used to it, you're gonna find that this is really a fantastic controller option. So leave your comments below and until next time, get out there and fill your brains. Don't get too far, that's not like the video.